Okay, what we have here is presumably what I will be using for uh, streaming purposes. And I, you guys know that uh, I just finished loading up a Fallout 4 video. And I was using my Zoom H1, but I can't find my mini tripod stand so I can actually put that on my desk. Also, that Zoom H1 is my primary microphone, is what I'm recording through right now. And I really do not want to have to keep setting it up and taking it down every time I want to stream and then I want to go turn around and do videos. I kind of don't want to have to go through all that mess because that makes me not want to do the video. So, here we have it. Very, very cheap. I can't pronounce the company name. Is that Okia or Okin? Probably Okin. Yeah, it looks like it's Okin or something like that. And this is a desktop microphone. I don't even know the model name. Uh, just says plug and play. Let's look in the back here. Look in the back here. Uh, call it a Myco? Desktop microphone, clear digital sound, classic design. And yeah, a bunch of gibberish. If you guys want to go through that, go ahead and pause the video. Well, we're gonna go ahead and, and break into this box right now. So, get inside here. Right off the back, it's very small. Wow. Um, but it looks really nice. Okay, the cable is uh, on there, it's not detachable, and but it's very thick. So there's a very, very thick uh, 3.5 millimeter cable. Just that microphone. They don't even bother giving it an actual name of any kind. Just SF-922. Uh, if you guys were on Amazon where I ordered this, Amazon has like three different models under three different colors. And it makes absolutely no sense. Um, Amazon really needs to fix that. That's very, very... Um, deceiving uh, when it comes to trying to purchase a product and uh, also very confusing because then the, the colors don't even match up they just gave them colors even though they're actually completely different models made from the same company so this is the model i bought which is under the color of black for this oaken desktop microphone and we get the microphone big thick 3.45 millimeter cable a nice Tripod stand doesn't need to be fancy, obviously, but very light weight. So you can put your thing in there, and then you can even get a little um, muffler uh, thing to put over your mic. And you may or may not need that. Uh, I don't know if I'll need that for the purposes of this mic, not sure, but yeah, that's really nice. Spreads there, we go. Okay, and it's supposed to sit something like that on your desk with the uh, the mic pretty much facing towards me and therefore in the best possible position to get the uh, the best audio. And yeah, I'm going to test this out. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and hook this guy up to the computer and I can give you just a... Um, a demo part just black out the screen so you can all you can see or all you can see is black you're just gonna hear my voice through the microphone I'm gonna put that recording up there for you let's do that right now okay this is how the volume sounds through this microphone it's literally inches away from my face probably less than two inches away from my face uh, the volume level is set on my PC for this microphone at 80 so yeah it's still kind of quiet it's supposed to be noise canceling but I can see there's a ton of noise so yeah, this is it without any editing or processing whatsoever. Okay, and this is how the mic is going to sound with a little uh, post process and a little editing done on your part in Adobe Audition. The volume level is still set at 80, but I've tried to clean up the audio a bit to let you know how it sounds. If you put just a little bit more effort into it, if you want to use this for something other than streaming or podcasting or things like that. 